So I found a sharp gem of an anti-Trump meme recently. I've been seeing it circulating on Facebook and, you know, around the internet quite a fair bit. You know, it's one of these sort of snarky gotcha memes, you know. One of these things is just supposed to be a big own, right? Um, and so if you check this out, you can check it out right here. The meme is, you know, Bush caught Saddam. Obama caught Bin Laden. And Trump, he caught COVID-19. Big problem with this meme, though, is that it's one of those memes that you can debunk in like five seconds. And not only can you debunk it in this case, but you can actually one-up the meme. Because not only... Because let's look at it. Like, what is the meme about? Like, what's the point of it? Like, the point of it is, well... You know, Bush and Obama all caught U.S. adversaries and U.S. bad guys. And Trump, all he did was catch COVID-19. Well, the big problem with that is Trump also caught al-Baghdadi, the head of the Islamic State. Probably just as bad as Osama bin Laden. And Trump caught him way faster than Osama bin Laden was caught. And not only that. But Trump also caught and killed Qasem Soleimani, the head of the Iranian Republican Guard. Basically, the Iranian equivalent of the Islamic State. So Trump not only got one major U.S. adversary and bad guy, he got two. He can one-up the whole thing. Not only did he match Obama and Bush, he surpassed them by one, by getting a second major U.S. amateur. So not often do you see a meme fall flat on its face like that. And really, if you really want to throw it out there, Trump actually, you know, he caught COVID-19, but what else did he do? He beat COVID-19. So actually, he caught and beat three major U.S. adversaries. Yeah, not very good for a meme there. That's a big fail. Um, it reminds me of, uh, actually, there was another meme that, was during the 2016 election that I saw uh, that was a way, that was just as bad, you know, in a lot of ways. And it wasn't really an anti-Trump meme. It was just kind of an election meme, but it just, like, it just really hit, missed the mark, right? And it was, basically, it was the South Park theme of the giant douche versus the turd sandwich. And I don't know who screwed this up or how it was done, but for whatever reason, Hillary Clinton was the giant douche, and Trump was the turd sandwich. How do you screw that up? I don't know, care who you are, but if you're a Trump supporter, you're not a Trump supporter. Everybody knows that Trump is the giant douche. Okay? There's no debating that. Trump will always be the giant douche. You may love him. You may vote for him. But he's still a giant douche. We all know that. And Hillary Clinton is a turd sandwich. Okay, we all know that too. So the lesson here is there's a little bit of a, you know, a, a phrase from the movie Monsters, Inc. said by the character, I think it's Scully, the green little eye guy. You know, he's like, you know, first of all, it's not cretin, it's cretin. So if you're going to insult me, at least do it properly. And that's what I'm saying here. If you're going to insult somebody or if you're going to make a meme insulting somebody, at least do it properly. At least don't have it so that I can debunk the meme in five seconds by just throwing out another example. When there are clearly examples that debunk your meme, and don't just misplace it, okay? If you're going to insult me, at least do it properly, okay?